Ladies and gentlemen of the California Trap Trinity, it's about that time again. Compton, Long Beach, Los Angeles, we in the building, baby. You already know what time it is, man. It's your boy with all the heat that turns shit to sugar, makes sugar taste twice as sweet. That's right, the promo king himself, product. Five stacks and counting, representing that California's on this radio yeah and here we are man gloriously episode three season two man shout out to the 33rd compound shout out sunlit media man cool ass cam innovative dot culture man shout out dj punch man uh milk and media man the whole fucking family up in here man i'm loving all the energy we've been feeling man we gonna keep this baby rocking and rolling man uh first we gonna get started with some introductions all right. Okay. Now, first, I'm gonna start with my co-host, man. My ace, boom, day one dude. He always down to help me out, man. And he is everyone's favorite cameraman, and probably your girlfriend's number one fan. I'm talking about respect the shooter. What's good with you, bro? What's up, bro? Man, I feel fantastic. How you man. doing, man? I feel good. I feel good. Episode good. three. Yeah, it is been good so far yeah it has uh, man so the Phenomenal. edits on the first episode is gonna be it's gonna look good oh man. yeah y'all not ready man we're gonna be uh we're gonna be dropping uh episode one very very shortly, very shortly. um it's gonna be on on our platform on our youtube as well as the innovative dot culture uh platform as well so you guys want to make sure that you tap in with that man it's it's man it's bananas what we trying it's to do nice, here man but uh it's your boy respect the shooter uh the, the bruce wayne of the film game you can find me on uh, Instagram at Ford Boys Films. That's Ford, like the car. Boys with an S, films with an S. But if you're really looking for me, you can find me at hashtag Your Girlfriend Knows My Real Name. Bacow. <laughs> Boom goes <laughs> the motherfucking dynamite. But yes. To you, I'm respect the shooter. There it is. There it is. Okay, now to the right side. Okay, this this young lady. Um, I had the opportunity and the pleasure of meeting her not too long ago at one of Rockstar Paradise uh, events. Uh, shout out to Rockstar C. Um, and when I when I met her, she's already very very nice, and um, she had like this this ta her table set up outside the event, and had all of these good treats and candies and whatnot sitting on the table. And I happened to have a conversation with her and just basically learning that this is what she does. Like she makes her own edibles. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, very potent, by the way. Okay. I'm a little loopy right now. I'm be Pass honest. out. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. I'm definitely relax. So this is the CEO of, of, of Pass Out Canna Butter and Treats. I want to make sure I'm saying that right, right? Yep. Okay. Absolutely. All right. So I want you to introduce yourself to the people, please. My name is Sonora. Ali Mama McKinley. Hello. Hey. Thank y'all for having me. I appreciate the support. You've been A1 and day one since I met you. Of course. And I appreciate you staying ten down like ten toes, you Absolutely. know. Never change. Got to. Never. Have to. Um, I appreciate the opportunity. And like you said, I make my own edibles. Yes. You know, I've been in the game six years, you know, and I'm just trying to get bigger and better. I heard that. Man, and, but you are, though. I'm, I'm, I watch the progress of everyone I do promo for. Um, I feel personally involved with all of y'all as business owners, as black business owners, and just how I know the struggle and I know what y'all got to do to get to where y'all are trying to go. Right. You dig? So um, so I love it. I love everything that you're doing. Hey, uh, shout out to Wigan Out Radio in the building. Melody Allen in the building, man. Shout out to you as well. Um, that, I'm uh, also I co-host that show as well with uh, oh yeah, with Melody. Yes, with Wigging Out Radio, Big the name in the business in the city, man. For real though, man, man, the Queen LBC, man. Yeah, man. Uh, I heard that the name of the company Pass Out mm -hmm. was true because somebody Absolutely. told me that you were at a party. Passed yeah, I, out I told you that. Her. <laughs> 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 no, but uh, we, I, I definitely want to get into that. But first, I want to you know we always man we keep our finger on the pulse and we always get results here on Cali's Finest Radio. Mm -hmm. So I want to make sure we get into a little trap activity. Um, this is when we just talk about some of the things that's going on in our communities and beyond. Right. Right. Okay. So first things first. Um, everybody's talking about this right now. Now in Livingston, Louisiana. Cynthia and Dennis Perkins, mm -hmm. nasty motherfuckers, but um, they were arrested in 2019, and they <coughs> were just now found guilty on more than 150 sex crime charges, including nude photos together with a minor. Um, Cynthia's a teacher, and uh, along with those charges, she was hit with, most notably, um, a harmful <laughs> substance charge, mm -hmm. right? And the reason for her getting that harmful substance charge was because she put some of her husband's baby batter in the cupcake batter for the cupcakes that she was making for the kids um, in her class. So 
I mean, you. I mean, that's just a small sample of the type of fucking sickness that you're dealing with there. Um, so uh, she's gonna. Uh, she actually, I guess, guess she just had a change of heart. Her conscience messing with her, so she decided not to accept a representation. Like she doesn't want to plead. She just plead guilty. She doesn't mm-hmm. want to. Yeah, she doesn't want to argue her case. Deal. Yeah, she took a plea deal. She doesn't even want to argue her case. She just wants to be sentenced. She actually just got sentenced uh, to forty-one years in prison. That's still not enough to. Mm-hmm. Still not. They were they were going to give her more. That was just the the plea. But you should have heard the uh, <coughs> her lawyers <coughs> saying, you know. Um, she doesn't have to admit to what she done, you know, and they were trying to make it seem like she didn't really do anything that bad and they said that she was coming on her own accord. Like this is a brave woman for coming forth and, 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 and admitting or taking, you know, admitted to what she was doing. Well, my thing, my thing is, is uh, your conscience, sorry, your conscience can mess with you, but it doesn't excuse the shit you did. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? She's still going to get totally that ass tapped agree. in prison. Man, they're going to beat the dog shit out of her. Mm-hmm. And I'm a big supporter of prison reform. Mm-hmm. But in cases like that, mm-hmm. that's not enough time. <coughs> no, it's not. She deserved life without, mm-hmm. you know, but them 43 years, she not going to make it. No. It's women in there praying for the day they can be with their kids. Yeah. And yeah. for somebody to do something like that mm-hmm. to some babies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, it's not it's even, a wrap. I don't even know where her mind was. Her and her husband. It so don't look, matter because they both crazy. gonna die. Yeah, it's a different type of treatment for sex offenders in prison. Well, I'm you not. Know gonna, what I mean, I'm not trying to be funny, but I already knew when I read this story without seeing any pictures <laughs> that they were melanin child. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. <laughs> like I already knew. <laughs> Because if they was black, they would have been all over today. this man. <laughs> Say it loud. <laughs> Some damn gas up in this one. Oh, <laughs> in God. The building. I had to put that shit down. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, man, it's mighty, mighty sick of them people. And I don't want to spend too much time giving them publicity. But I just want to think that that was something that, you know, I had to bring everybody's attention. <laughs> you had to, man. We all got kids in school. Oh, so no, absolutely. Right. I don't know what I would have did if uh, that news would have got out. No, absolutely. Got back to me, so. <clears throat> um, speaking of people that that's a little bit maybe skewed on the sexual side, uh, R. Kelly he just fired uh, his entire legal team, and um, he actually just hired uh, her name is Jennifer Bon Jean or Bon John. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but she is actually uh, Bill Cosby's counsel from his sexual assault case as well. Yeah, yeah, I read that. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I'm. I got a question. I just want to ask real quick. I mean. Do you guys think this is going to make a difference for him? Or do you think he's kind of made his bed and now he's got sleeping in no pun intended? Not to be funny. Mm-hmm. I still rock his music, but I doubt he'll ever see the streets again. You yeah, know, they, they got too to much evidence on him. Oh, too yeah. many witnesses, too many stories. And it's, you can't sing your way out of everything. And mm-hmm. I don't care how many people you got standing in front of the courthouse, you know, with signs and all this and that. And you know you did it. So mm-hmm. just go on and take that ride. You know what yep. I mean? So we all saw the video from back in the day. Man, we all seen it. We and that was him. Yeah, that yeah, wasn't his was cousin, him. his yeah. uncle, oh, yeah, none of that. He set the camera up. My that favorite, yeah, my favorite part was when he was setting the camera up and he Man. was getting on the bed, posing and Man. shit, raising his leg up. Getting you know, angles. Yeah, that was long <laughs> before Instagram. That was long before the selfie. But he, long he the nigga might as well have held up his, his social security card and, and driver's that. license, bro. Smiling, like, That's you, bro. Man, all day. Um uh, Shakari Richardson, since we smoking weed, is, I think this is a good something to talk about. <laughs> Shakari Richardson, um, I, for those of you who might not remember, <coughs> she's an uh, she <coughs> she was an Olympic hopeful, a track hopeful. Um, she had hoped to compete in the Beijing Games that are upcoming, and she was actually disqualified because she tested dirty for banned substance they have, I guess, and that's marijuana. Now, that girl was a beast, though. Yeah, crazy. Mhm, mhm. Very, very talented track runner, right? The problem is, though, is that she tested dirty, and they disqualified her from competing. I mean, it caused an uproar in the media for a little bit. It's kind of blown over just a little bit until recently. Um, a Russian, a 15-year-old Russian skater, Kamila Valieva. She, um, she's supposed to be competing in Beijing. She's a skater. Okay, so. She just tested positive for a, a performance enhancing drug. Okay, so basically the Olympic Committee, they reviewed it and they've 
basically passed her through. She's going to be able to, comp- to compete, excuse me, in the games, the Beijing games. So Shakara has been speaking out and saying that it's a double standard. Um, that, you know, because she's black, that's why they're, you know, that's why they didn't give her that second chance. Now, I want to get you guys a quick opinions on it. Let me know what you guys think, and then I'll give my take on it. So, I'm, I'm going I'm to start with you. The ladies first. Ladies first, of course. My okay. thing is, she came with the cap, oh, I got some of my granddaddy's medicine. Uh-huh. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's just as simple as the dog ate my homework. Like, come on now. Yeah. Like, it fell in your water, and you still drunk it? Yeah, I mean, we know. Yeah. So <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say about that. Because no. had she been a a black girl mm-hmm. from America, yeah. she wouldn't have got that pass neither. No, you know all. what I mean. Not so, at all. Them Russians got power. Oh no, absolutely. absolutely. And they made it happen. I don't yeah. think she had any control over taking the shit. To be honest, because you know we seen you seen Rocky. Remember She's Drago? Drago, they right. hook you up to machines and put mm-hmm. needles on in your in your vagina and shit. She's taking you know what, what she's saying? giving. Like, gotta, <laughs> she's taking what she's yeah, giving. Exactly. She's a kid, so exactly. they need to follow the trail and where it came from and how she got it. Absolutely, shoot her. Uh, backpacking off what she was saying. She's a kid, so whatever children take, the parents have to okay anyway. And that's yes. anywhere in the right. world. It's yes. not just Absolutely. like in America, you know, especially when you get to the Olympics. So the, everybody has to be at fault. Like you said, <clears throat> I don't think she knew what she was taking, but all the adults in her life knew what she was taking. Right. Yeah. Uh, as far as the unfairness of, uh, I can't say it's truly unfair because um, uh, Michael Phelps also got disqualified because he was found with yeah. substance in, in his uh, weed. They, they treated him like also. a straight hero yeah. though. They they did, and yeah. they also talked about changing the rules of uh, the Olympics because of him, which yeah. did, it didn't happen because it happened, you know, with, with Shakari. <clears throat> but the unfairness that we get don't stop in America. It stops yeah. every, I mean, it stops everywhere. I mean, it, right. it keeps going everywhere. I've heard stories about people going to Japan and you know Japanese people walking up to you, touching your face and your hair, and <laughs> you can't really like tell them to get off you. That'd be a real right. short vacation. You know I'll yeah, right. you in that land. Touch yeah. my face. Mess around, don't come you. back. Exactly. Because you just said something That's crazy. I don't want to. I don't even know if I want to go. It'd be nice to see the, the place. But don't come up to me touching my face and, no. my and all this other, you know. I, yeah. I'm, I'm like, I'm want to touch your hair, yeah, and all type that. of shit. Right. To, you know, I, I'm not with uh, no, all that shit. But, you know. I've never seen a specimen that dark before. Yeah, yeah. man. Hey, and that's why they'll come talk to you too. Yeah. Like, uh, see the thing. My take on this thing with Shakari Richardson, if I'm saying her name right, I'm sorry. Shakari. Shakari. I don't want to butcher her name. Um, but here's my take on it. Um, I don't think. Make, okay, in the initial response, yes, I feel was wrong to bounce her that way, but I believe a lot of it had to do with her reaction to being refused at first because there's an appeals process. You know what I'm saying? There's there's the Olympic Committee has has an appeals process, and prior to that, she kind of started going to the media, you know, and letting them know this isn't fair, this isn't right, start speaking out, and if we know anything about the old establishment, they hate it when you speak out. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could get... Gather your own resources and go and try to change the game that way, and they respect that more than if you go to the media and 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 tell on them. You know right. what I'm saying? And I'm not right. saying she was wrong for it, yeah. but I think her reaction to it and telling everybody and bringing light to it as a as a whistleblower, yeah, mm-hmm. I think that that's what kind of um kind of soured the 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 Olympic Committee or whatever yeah. the people that decide these things. Yeah. That I think that that's what soured them. On her, yeah. and then it doesn't help her case that the very next race she won, she got fucking dusted. Now let's yeah. not forget that the last race she ran, she did not. She looked yeah. like a shadow yeah. of herself, <clears throat> and that's facts. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So you're not making a great case for yourself right now. She gave me like third, didn't you? Yeah, that's not good enough though. Right. If you but you, you was the, the top, girl, you though. you that's screaming weird. out loud. Though? We are yeah. not. Yeah, I feel you. I know you we mean. are not held to the same standards. You're right. You know that. People yeah. of color, whether you black, yeah. brown, or otherwise, if you're not white, you are not held to the same standards. Right. The minute you do something that that barely steps out of place, they're gonna treat it like you did something to they they did they gonna treat it like you did something to completely ruin life as we know it. That's right. You know what I'm saying? When you know you got motherfucking white folks fucking putting nut in, in cupcakes and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm 43 just, I, years. You, you feel what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. It's definitely, they would have thrown me or you under the jail. Right. For some shit you like that. You would have had so many life sentences. 
yeah. would have been a rap. You would have been yeah. tore up the courtroom, all exactly. that. You know, because you know that was your last shebang. At, That's in, real talk. At freedom. That was it. Hey, hey, man, celebrity alert. Celebrity alert in the motherfucking Ooh. building. My other guest just popped in right now, man. Hey, man. Hello. Let me introduce y'all to the, to the nigga, to that nigga. I'm, that's how I'm going to say that nigga right here. Look, I bumped into this man um, at a function. Hey, another rock star uh, uh, event, man. Shout out Rockstar C. Um, December 3rd, actually, uh, uh, it was an event I uh, hosted for uh, Sugar Free. Okay. And um, I ended up bumping into this gentleman here. And just great energy, great spirit. You know what I'm saying? Like, from the time, as soon as I met him. And I'm like, bro, you want to come in for an interview? Bro, just let me know. Hit me, bro. And a lot of people say that. Because I meet a lot of people. And a lot of people say that. That's doing something. But this man's been genuine about it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm look. <laughs> hey, ladies. If you <laughs> want that nigga with that strong stroke, you better holler at my nigga, that young G Slim Pope. What's up, bro? Hey, what's happening, fam? What's good, love? What's good, one? man? Oh, man. Blessed. It's all, man. Just grinding day by day. I see you. Trying to make it happen, man. I'm Trying already to make knowing. That was out of sense. You know what I mean? Man, bro. I see you, man. I appreciate you making it down, bro. Um, you know what I'm saying? Go, you, of course, bro. Introduce why well, people already know who you are, but just for those that's been living under a rock, please introduce yourself. Or acting the, like they don't know. Yeah, right. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Too afraid to say they know. <laughs> On the real, though. Nah, it's your boy Slim Pug, you know what I'm saying? Hey, the, the adult film star, I mean, your neighborhood hero. <laughs> there you it know is. What I'm saying? The one that make your sex life better. There it is. You feel me? Yeah, yeah hey. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. That um, <laughs> most I know it's a lot of women out there that probably like put this niggas like <laughs> face on their husband's body when they fucking. Him, so you I know, seen a couple of you feel me? Like so that. from slim, from slim to from slim and me to you, you're welcome. All right, mm -hmm. there it is right there. Now one more thing I do want to talk about. Um, let's talk about uh the situation in New York City. All right, uh, Mayor Eric Adams. Okay, uh, right now, what he's trying to do, he's trying to have drill, drill rap, that genre, he's trying to have it banned right now. Um, last weekend, uh, there was an 18-year-old drill rapper, his name was Shy, I don't know how to say his name, because it's spelled weird, but I want to say Shy Watts, I think that's his name, right? Uh, he's 18, and uh, he just got gunned down, and yeah, he's a drill yeah. rapper, yeah. So, uh, Eric Adams is now standing on his soapbox. And what he's trying to do is, is he's trying to get that genre banned. So he had a meeting where he brought in a Mano, uh, Five Five Year Foreign, uh, B Love, a few other cats. That's 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 they you know that's their lane, that's their genre, yeah. right? So um, the, Mano, though. Ma, ma, well, Mano is uh you know a but prominent he, he, he figure had, yeah, in New York in New in York hip -hop, for yeah. hip hop yeah, niggas yeah. coming right. in talk. But then yeah. drill drill start like Chicago or something. It it you yeah. know I think I I think but, it did I think it did but it's. It's huge on the East Coast, oh, it though. Is, it is, it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. yeah, so um, in transition. Yeah, but th this is the question I got for the panel today. I mean, do you think that? I mean, it's a lot like you remember when they were trying to ban video games, like trying yeah. to, you know what I mean? Because they yeah. said that that's what was causing yeah. violent crimes and everything. We learned that was bullshit, yeah. right? You know what I'm saying? I mean, do you think that if they, let's say that they do ban drill rap, I mean, do you think that that's gonna change the the scenery of things in New York? I mean, the murder rate's still high. You know, hell, hell, no. absolutely hell no. not. Niggas mm -hmm. was getting shot before it might get worse. Mm. That's gonna make you know. them mad. You, you can't know. censor the streets. Yeah, you they can't. gonna still yeah. keep doing it if they gotta sell it out. They try. Yeah. Yeah. They're not gonna yeah, stop. Talk. Like, I get they, it. Yeah. they tried to ban rock music at a time. Yeah, you know when it's black driven. And yeah, that, that's that's right. that thrive. They tried to ban hip hop when NWA started hitting. That thrive. So and you, I didn't do nothing but make the streets yeah. more mad. Right. Exactly. Once they try to up, get rid man, of it, that yeah. make them go harder up, for yeah. it. Yeah. You know, so they're going to have to just eventually give up. It's and a, let it's them do what they He's not going to win. You at all. You no, know. not at all, bro. That's, 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 some, that's some hood He's shit. He's political. That's He's just trying to be political with his name out there. That's all it is. Yeah. It all starts at home, right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I can, you know, I can sit there and tell you, don't listen to this music. Don't, don't be a part of this scene. And then... I'm not watching after you in the streets. What, you, what the first fucking thing the kids you think gonna get at is the shit you told them not to touch. His kids probably got it in their playlist yeah. right mm -hmm. now. On every day. You know, oh, yeah. you know it. On every know? day. Banging it. Grandkids no, no. and all type of shit. Yeah, all in the car yeah. and everything. As soon That's as they pull off. They got that shit in their so, Oh, yeah. I, 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 iPhone and all that. They That's be the ones shit. in the front row at the concert. Yeah. 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 Real talk. 
That's some real shit. Spitting all the words faster than the rapper. Yeah, yeah. that ain't gonna go right. So, if you, I don't yeah, think so either. Right. I think, that like you said, right, Poke, yeah. I think it's gonna piss. I think yeah. it's gonna piss some people off. How you gonna do? You gonna get a ticket every time somebody pull you over? And <laughs> you know, yeah. 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 They're gonna, gonna get some of these police the officers shot yeah. for that shit. Start fucking coming shot. up yeah, to fucking cars and tell them turn their music down. That's not gonna be a good look. Right. Look at all. No, not at all. Um. Okay. So now. I want to let's let me let me turn to the CEO of Pass Out LA because we got to get into this. This is a lot of goodies up here. It's mm-hmm. a lot on this table, and okay. I made it all besides the moon rock and the moon rocket. But yeah, everything else. So you made so you made all of that. So I want to know like how many okay so how long you been doing this for? Right now I'm six years in. Okay. For the first year and a half, I only sold butter. Oh. Because okay. I wanted to market on the people that wanted to make edibles. Right, right. I had a job, I didn't have time for that. That right. was just something on the side, you okay. know what I mean? And one day just in com- common conversation with my love, hey Nate, I love you. <laughs> um, yeah, I wanna talk, yeah, talk about that cause he's one to show he, you. He, well my cousin, my cousin Tony, he showed me how to make butter. Okay, Tony, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. He showed me how to make butter, just a quick way on the stove, just right. you know. But he gave me a little jar of butter, the same size, a little a a, a cup. I okay. mean a a stick. Yeah. And then uh-huh. once I took it home and seen how much I could do with it, uh-huh. it moved me. Like, you <laughs> know what I mean? It yeah, was like, like it, it created shit. a fire. Yes. Like, you yeah, know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I've never owned a, a magic butter machine. What okay, explain that to me. What what is a magic butter machine? What is that? They have this machine called the Magic Butter Machine or 420 machine. They got okay. a few different ones on the market. They've been out for years now. Okay. But you basically put your weed in there, put your butter in there, and you push the button, and then you come back, and you just pour it. It's just simple. Oh, okay. Like, you, it's just modern day making butter. Right. I've never done that. Okay. I use crock pots. Crock pots. Like, you know what I mean? I ch- hey, cheese for you, Hey, for you feds out there, she's talking about cooking butter. It's crock pots and cooking shit. Uh, they be, like, they be know, on some shit. So I'm just, just letting, just re- yeah. letting so, them know what's good. But go ahead. But, I mean, it's people put it in a, in a oatmeal in the morning. They put it on toast. Like, you know what I mean? They put it in noodles. Put it on steak. They bake steak. with it, oh, cook God. with it. Cook with some you know, some steak. If you want some steak butter, I'll add some steak seasoning to it and make it specifically for steak. Yo, like, that's you know, dope. So yeah, you fly. I can infuse anything. Yeah, like I, that's, anything. that's what's, that's what's so impressive. For everything. I put like, that shit in some top ramen. Oh God, like yeah. that, that's <laughs> but see, that's what's so and like impressive. A cool man. little tablespoon. Yeah, you don't even need a lot because it's it's concentrate. People take my butter and they add regular butter to it just to yeah. break it down so they have more. So you That's named your idea. business after your husband. I did. Okay. So what? So explain that to me. So In common conversation, he was asking me. He was like, "So how is your butter going?" Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I was like, "It's slow, but I'm like, they all like, well, where the edibles at? They want yeah. it right now, high. Okay. Like, you know what I mean? And yeah. he was like, "Well, hell, you know how to cook. If they want to eat, feed them." There it is. Give them what they want. That's I heard that. And Hell shit. Yeah. I went from pass out can of butter to pass out can of butter and treats and shit. I've been moving and shaking ever since. See, that's how you inspire we your have, woman. We have. I'm that's gonna real. say that's that. How you you, get, you, you right. see that? You and see he that? Support me. That's what's up. Good, bad, yeah, or yeah. indifferent. That's what you I'm talking what I mean? about. Black man. Yes. Of course. Absolutely. Okay. I wouldn't have it. All that melanin life. over there. And he dark wasted too. on anything he else. Uh, <laughs> shit, all he that melanin dark she dark got going on, that'd be wasted on anything else but a brother. Man, man. nothing yeah. else. Oh, okay. good. Nothing else. Like love. So, Six, two, two, something ready to do something. I don't care. <laughs> Stop with it. That's my baby right all there. Right now. <laughs> oh man, I like it. I like DJ it. DJ Pass Out. Oh, <laughs> DJ Pass Out. Shout yes, out to DJ indeed. Pass Out, man. Um, so you offer a can of butter, can of oil, tincture. What is tincture? Tincture is infused Everclear. Oh. That's this right here in this blue box. Oh, that's this what, got what me I sweating use like this to make <laughs> this drink. And um, this is what I use to make the gummies. I make can of sugar. Mm-hmm. And I use the can of sugar to make the Kool Aid, and you know, I, it's a hack for everything. Okay. But I, you can't use butter for everything. No, you know what I mean. No. And that's what people don't understand. They think they can get some butter and change the world. Yeah. You're gonna have to have more than a pound of butter <laughs> to outdo <laughs> your girl. Like you know what I mean. Oh, but God. I can provide, and I like I said, can of sugar, whatever. Everything can be made, but everybody can't do it right. Yeah. 
I and I specialize in high dose. I got carts, moon rock, moon rockets. Mm-hmm. Um, I can make any kind of oil. Yeah. I do food. Right. Chicken and waffles, weed wings, tacos. Okay. You know. What's so. What's next? What's next for you? Like, uh, in turn, do you want to like eventually get your own dispensary or shop or? Or are you good with the vendor thing that you've been doing so no, far? No, I'm I'm really tired of vending. I'm going okay. to venture out into other business avenues, but maybe get a bakery or something. Yeah, and, you, know, you start an edible bakery. Yeah, you know, get your, what about our already, truck? You right. get you a food truck too. That's what I kept telling my husband. He's yeah. like, you can't do that. Like you, you could, know, no, no. But you, I I've seen the CBD. You can't. Oh no, absolutely. I know. Mm-hmm. Um, I've done promo for a guy, uh, Captain Snacks. Shout out Captain Snacks. Um, he has an ice cream truck, but all of his ice cream on the truck is all cannabis infused. Like all, and they don't, you know, he's got a license, everything. So you can do it, right? Yeah, you can do and it. And then it's just the way you set up. Man, yeah. you got that mm-hmm. following, and people will follow you where you go. And like I said, I'm a cannabis cook. I do food, food, mm-hmm. infused food. I cook with oil. I cook with butter. I cook with everything. I make cheesecake. Look, mm-hmm. I got lemon pound. You got the, um, oh, you got the um, Reese's. Yeah, this Reese's is, over there. is hitting. This Reese is hitting, and now mm-hmm. I just kind of feel I feel my brain slowing down like yeah, every I'm second. Asleep. Oh I tell God! You all the time, don't <laughs> eat the whole thing. You got to start Pass with out. a little bit. You know what yeah. I mean, and, and go from there. But Poke man, grab you, grab you, man. Look, you man, see man, something grab, you want? Grab, grab you, I, I don't be scared. Yeah, 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 look. <laughs> you want a cookie hey, look, look, or something? Hey, some look, 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 poke take the wrong thing, and and some female gonna be missing a fucking labia or something after he get done. This nigga gonna knock her back the fuck out. Oh, everything. Yeah, he do damage. Y'all better watch out for this one right here. You see here. that? You see that? Poke cares. Poke well, cares. You know what I'm saying? I was waiting on it. <laughs> hey, Shooter, you got I ain't trying to put him out there, but yeah, <laughs> wow. watch out. Oh, you got a fan yeah. in the building. By the way, saying. you got a fan in the I'm building. A, I didn't see you in <laughs> action, bro. I didn't see you in action. <laughs> I didn't see you at a couple of parties, too. I, I, so I do it for the culture. I'm just saying. Oh, I, I saw this. I went, hold on, no. He's you a got some, He just dropped something new. I just saw on your page today. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got some new shit. Yeah, yeah, that shit. Talk to me about that, man. What's man, that? It's like a, it's an all black uh, uh, series. It's called For the Culture and shit. I linked up with my boy Rico Strong. Oh, That's what's shit, up. Now. Joe Pond, you right, boy. Yeah, <laughs> Minnie and uh, 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 Mimi Curvaceous. Uh, yeah, we went crazy oh, on that motherfucker. It's all, it's all black right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's epic, bro. I think that shit gonna break the internet. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, coming out this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it's hot, bro. I, I seen this called a little orgy. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to tell, yeah. tell you what. Three on two years. I want to tell you something, man. I want to tell you something, man. Real shit. It's your show. All right. So I met you at a uh, Willie. Was it Willie shit? On uh, in, down in Long Beach. Uh huh. <coughs> over, over here in Long Beach. Sure. We was chopping it up, and you was cool as fuck. I was like, man, and you was like, no, nigga, I fuck with you. Like, yeah, hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? You was like, you solid. Da, da, da. I was like, damn. Nigga, I never watch this nigga porn again. Nigga. Like he's like the homie now. You know, like I can't, I can't watch the homie fuck no more. Nigga. Like, I can't. That's why we don't run after a certain age. We don't even run trains oh, no God, more, bro. No. For that reason, I'm like, I, I can't even do it, time. man. As soon as I see a face pop up, nope, oh, that's the nope. Homie. That's yeah, the homie. I can't do it. Man, right. I can't I do it. That a million times, man. Homies pull me over right now. They be like, "Hey, Pope, man, that's just one DVD." No, nah, they be like, "I'm, I'm chilling." No, I was chilling at home with my shorty, man, and my shorty popped in the movie and all that, man. I look on the screen, it's you. I was like, oh, man, that's nigga, the get homie, man, that's, man, man. He say he go to the next one. Ah. He go to the next. Oh, that's the homie again. So yeah, like, like now I'm just all nah. I'm flooded all over that thing, man. I can't, man. bro. I'm not with it. Friends no, don't no. let friends <laughs> watch <laughs> them fuck. No. Like, <laughs> right, yeah. right, when you in that motion, man, sometimes it is what yeah, it is. You gotta go ahead and do your shit, man. Yeah. Yeah. It is what it is, Pope. You know what I mean? Uh, um. So okay, Pope. So you, how long you been in the biz for? Uh, it's going on 10 years. 10 years. Yeah. Damn, bro. A whole decade of fucking. Yeah, man. A whole <laughs> decade fun. of fucking. That's <laughs> <laughs> cheeks. That's Absolute like. What, what, uh, what got you started in the business, bro? Um, I was actually doing some shit um, like webcamming, you know, trying mm-hmm. to get into it like probably like a, good, uh, a while ago. And then um, this chick hit me up on the internet like, yo, um, she wanted to do a video with me and shit. So I was like, bet, let, let's let's do it. I'm thinking it was some like rant, some, some at home type shit. Mm-hmm. She pull up, come get me, and all that. We um, we pull up to this big ass mansion and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm thinking, that's, okay, this is where you stay at. Mm. I didn't ask it, but in my yeah, mind, yeah, I'm just yeah, like, yeah, okay. This is, okay. I'm like, fuck it. You know what I mean? We bounce out. We walk up in the mansion, shit. It's, it's a producer, white guy. I'm like, hold on, shit. 
you know, he get to give me the uh, rundown and shit. Like, yeah, this how the scene gonna be. Woo dee woo woo dee woo this. Make a long story short, I'm like, damn, that's a real porn set and shit. Word. So we, <laughs> my heart start beating like a motherfucker. Willie like, Wonka in the chocolate factory. Man, I'm like, god damn. I said, okay, I don't know if I'm ready for this shit, but I was like, fuck, man, let me do my shit. Uh -huh. So, um, make a long story short, we ended up recording a video. It went all right, man. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't extravagant, but it right. went all right, you know what I mean? Because yeah. it was my first time doing yeah. it. But to answer your question, the chick got me in this shit. I wasn't really, you know, trying to get in the shit, but you right. know, she got me to doing my first video, and that shit went viral. She oh, knew shit. you in the company. The yeah, she knew it. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, well, yeah, man, so you wait. So you had already been. This is easy. So you were already. You had already smacked that before she brought you around to that. You had already smacked that. You already. She already knew what you was capable of. Yeah, she knew I was capable. Yeah, okay, of. well that told yeah, you yeah. right. That she went back to. <laughs> hey, look. Yeah, she yeah, went yeah, to yeah, the producers and was yeah. like, "Nigga, I got one. <laughs> I got one for you. I got one." So Call she, this yeah. nigga. She got a good referral. Man, for you. Yeah. That's, that's what's shit, up, that man. That shit went crazy. And then, like, all the producers and shit, they, like, looking looking for me. But they didn't know how to contact me. They didn't know who the yeah. fuck, you know. Mm. So I just did my research. And I started tapping into companies. And they're like, um, yeah, hey, we've been looking for you and all that, man. Like, whoop, whoop, whoop. So um, they hit me up on my first little scene and shit. And I went, got on set. And I didn't do good. <laughs> you know, I didn't do good my first few scenes, man, because, you know, I was nervous yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. All the lights, cameras the cameras. On you. Hell yeah. Four nigga, five nigga, people, yeah, nigga yeah. leaned over looking at your dick like two, real. two inches away from your so, dick like, all right, yeah. I fuck like this. Yeah, hey, nigga, come on, bro. Like, yeah, so it fucked damn. me up, man. You know, so wait, wait, so fluff, I got a question. So fluffers aren't real? Because I'm... Is that a, a myth or? Fluffers was real back in the day. Like oh, probably okay. when Suave, Wesley Pipes and them first started. Uh -huh. But the thing is, Fluffers, they wanted to start getting paid. They didn't uh -huh. want to just be doing this just shit. Just doing it and not yeah, getting paid. Like, it makes sense. We want to get paid Sucking too. That makes sense. <laughs> so they got, they, got, they got rid of the Fluffers. Oh, yeah, they, oh, shit. I don't blame them though. They hey, hey, well, hey, look, I can't pay you, but we got some mouthwash yeah, out there. Yeah, we got some cements and shit, but nah. So they got rid of the Fluffers and they just was like, fuck, we all just going to have to, you know what I mean? Find your niche, you know, get it, get it how y'all live it type shit. That's crazy. So you've had a you've had a fair amount of success at this too, right? Like you know, now that you now that you've been rolling, I mean, ten years of it. Um, you were actually you were nominated when like best yeah. new performer. Yeah, I was nominated like my first two years. Uh, nominated best male newcomer of the year, and then uh, a lot of my movies just start getting nominated and shit. And then um, I won um one of my movies won and shit like that. Um. Um, I, 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 all my movies get nominated now to this day, but yeah, it was you know a little success. So you got right like a porn Oscar and shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I, what I they call it the Stiffy. Yeah. I actually got one, but I never went and got it. I never oh, went and got it. I was just, I was it's like, on yeah, record. Like, yeah, it's on record. It's I remember shit, shit when I was a kid. I remember you, you know, when you had the little scrambled boxes and shit, and you could watch porn and shit like that on the little black boxes. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I remember yeah, watching key, um, I, I, yeah, I, I think it was the um, the oh, Adam and it was like the Adam and Eve. Oh, Adam and Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, yeah, you know, yeah and they used yeah, to have like the the AVN awards. Yeah, that yeah, shit yeah. still. Yeah, they yeah. just stopped it like yeah. two years. Oh, back, okay, you know okay, okay. They still do it virtually though. Yeah, you know yeah. I would saying? think COVID would cut. That's, yeah, that's what I want to know. How has COVID affected your industry, bro? It fucked up so bad. Like we didn't lost so much, but well, some of us lost some money, and some of us, you know, made it. It made it even better for some of like the women. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, they can do shit from home. And yeah, shit. And a lot of a lot of guys was just chilling at home, and they you know want to see shit instead of. Right. You know what I'm saying? Clicking on internet type shit. But, um, you know, they was doing live shows and shit like that. A lot of shit that the uh, fans would want them to do. Right. But as far as me, I'm like, I do mainstream. So it, like, really fucked it up for a lot of us that really do mainstream. Because, like, you know what I mean? That COVID shit, that shit hit. Fucked up a lot of money for a nigga. Nigga then lost probably, like, 50. Damn. 50, damn. Probably more than 50 bands. I just do the COVID shit. That's crazy, yeah. man. Yeah, it fucked up a lot. But, you know, it's starting to pick back up right now, though. You know, you I got the OnlyFans so, shit like that. But, yeah. um, hey, man, yeah. look. You know, look can only do so much. Look, let me tell you some sex gonna find a way to yeah, yeah, yeah. On everything on yeah, camera or thing. otherwise. It's always gonna be accepted. Yeah. But thank God for X videos, OnlyFans, oh, yeah. and shit like that. You yeah. know, yeah. if I didn't have them behind me, shit. I, I got a question for you, bro. All right, so what's is it a difference between like white female porn stars and black female porn stars? Like what you mean, like like, how, like as far as like um. How like the pussy that. feel? Yeah, not that, not that, not that. Not that. <laughs> oh, okay. I know that. I've been with a, oh, okay. I don't want to so brag. Yeah, yeah, I've for been sure, there. For sure, for no, sure. So I'm just like, I'm just mean with the like acceptance of certain shit. 
like wars and shit like that and like uh bookings and shit yeah like as far as like when you work with them like is it harder to work with like white women than, than black women nah it's kind of it's, it's 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 easier to work i think it's it's 50 50 it's 50 50. Yeah. you got some divas that get on set and just act like they too much or they just act like you know what i'm saying yeah just, you know but uh it's kind of 50 50. like this one chick i had like i was shooting for this company called bang bros you know me when i get ready Damn, yeah. shout, go, out bro, bro. shout out shout out shout out bang bros <laughs> They did yeah, yeah, Brazzers, nigga. Brazzers Shout out Brazzers too. Yeah, yeah. But like, bro, I know Vivi, Vivi, hey, bro, Vivi, I hey, can do this all day. Vivi, oh, for sure. hey, Black, Black, West Coast, all that West Coast. I shoot for them Sunday, West Coast. Yeah. Hey, you feel? Yeah, hey, I know up, what's up, bro. Up. But um, yeah, I was shooting for Bang Bros one day, and then uh, I ain't gonna say her name, but um, you know, usually when I get ready, when I get on set, I go straight to the back. I don't yeah, want to okay. see the female yet. I don't even want to oh, see who I work with. You don't want to blow? Yeah, I got you. I want to fuck them now, so I just go straight to the back. Gotcha. So um, we end up doing the scene, and then um, the producer called me the next day, like, "Yo, Slim, man, the girl was unhappy. The girl was kind of mad. She was upset." And I'm like, "What's up? Like, did I did something? Do I do something wrong?" And shit. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of like getting scared now. I'm like, "The fuck okay. I do?" Yeah. She he was like, "Nah." Um, she was like, "Yeah." Um, she 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 thought I didn't like her. Like I didn't feel like she was oh. beautiful, and oh, you know shit. because I went straight to the, you know I didn't want to yeah. be all up in her face like yeah, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Like I love her. She wanted yeah. that attention. Yeah, she I didn't give her that. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So I'm like, "Fuck!" So you like, man, we gotta um shoot the scene over anyway because the pop shot he accidentally stopped the stopped recording when I when I did my shit. Yeah. So I'm like, man, fuck it. But I ain't tripping because you know they paid me again and all that. But we'll end up oh, getting on set. Feel. You know, bro, I, wait, wait. You get paid per nut, bro? Hell yeah. That's dope as fuck. Hey. If you don't nut, you don't get your money. Whoa. You do not get your check. If you don't bust, you don't get that check. Damn. So, I mean, a performance is a pay, I'm, plays I'm, a major role okay. in it too, though. But, but what if, but what if, uh, what if her shit is like That's not? Crazy. You know, like what if her shit ain't ain't got no grip? What if it ain't? Yeah, because that, that shit. You gotta good. work it out. You, you gotta, you know, you gotta do your shit Figure still. Do you have to take your mind to, to somewhere else? You do. Wow, you know, it's a mind thing, man. You got to like that's me, crazy. I just get, I just take a particular part of the the female's body and I zone out on it. Like I'm not much of a titty man. I'm like an ass man, and you know, like you know, pussy. Man. I can cuss on this motherfucker. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Like, you think? Pussy man, like you know, I stare at Fuck. the pussy. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I stare at the pussy in the ass, and I just zone out, bro. I yeah. just zone out from there. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you gotta. Think you know you got Damn, bro. your mind gotta just be you, you know, see that ladies it ain't just y'all yeah, it ain't it, it ain't. ain't just y'all because you know even though you in the biz poke as us as regular civilians yeah. out here we go through that too I know yeah, I yeah. do you that's know? crazy that I just that's crazy that uh in porn somebody could come like and be like he didn't make me feel beautiful and but it's, yeah, that's it's crazy, crazy. That's that's crazy. Not, man to the point where the producer called him that, that's like, crazy, what? crazy huh? like she was really crazy like, she yeah. was tripping like she was upset like i'm like that's crazy and i end up working with her like three times after that for different companies i ended yeah. up working with her again so i when i got her on set i was like okay i know how to do her I don't yeah, know yeah, yeah, shit. So yeah let me yeah, go yeah. make her feel like she she that she the ism yeah you feel me who uh yeah. the, one more question go ahead, go ahead. who were you watching before you got into porn that uh, you smashed, and, and how did you feel when you like when the you did it? like which female I was watching before I got yeah, into it? Yeah, before you got into it. Um, majority all the females that I was watching, they stopped a little bit when I got in. Okay, uh, yeah, they stopped when I got in. But okay. Cherokee, one of them, that's big. Cherokee, six, Cherokee. Ass? Cherokee, yeah, but I I didn't smash her. She booked me a few times for a site, like she, you know what I mean. And uh, we was talking about doing some shit, you know, in uh, in, in um future. But um, yeah, Cherokee, Cherokee, Cherokee. and hey, Pinky. Hey. You know, I worked Pinky. for her too a few times too, a lot of times. Okay. Damn, these, those are like legends. Oh yeah, Absolutely. oh yeah. yeah. Hey, when you walked in, him. she was over here blushing. She was just talking about you <laughs> <laughs> before you walked in. I, was I, was like, like, I know who that is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 That's real talk, man. You feel me? Damn, bro. Okay, so I mean, let me now. This, this is gonna go to pass out LA, but it's kind of tying into my man, my man Poke here. So any of the it does. Any of the products, do you make any aphrodisiacs, any, you know what I mean? Anything that, it, like, sexual aids or, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, because, like, there's some there's some uh, some weed strains you can smoke, they say, will right. increase your sexual potency. So uh, is there anything that, that you provide that might have the similar effect or, I you know? I make a sativa-infused coconut oil. Let's fucking go. That they can rub on the body. Yeah. Um, oh, you know, that's that's stimulating. Right? That's lit. That's real. And um, they can mix it, you know, with that little, they can put it on direct. 
you know, however they want. Okay, that's uh, they, that's for that that situation. They can put shit. it on anywhere they have pain. They can do a massage with, I mix it with some massage oil. You know, that's real. Okay, that's lit. Yeah. There you go. Hey man, no, hey, it's that just goes to show, like I said, to the variety of things that you have and that you carry. Um, now I segue into this, Pope. Like you know. Like she said about the oil and stuff like that, you know, that's something that you would use like probably with your partner because mm -hmm. it's essential kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Is it hard getting in a relationship in this business? Do you even want to be in a relationship? Yeah. Me, I, I don't. I okay. don't. I tried it a few times and it didn't work out. So I'm hey, like, Cam, we got you got. Hey, Cam, we need like some organ. Do 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 do. Yeah, like, that's church right there. <laughs> on, man. That's church. Speaking, yeah. of, speaking of Cam, man, do y'all do y'all have any questions? Yeah, man, cool ass on, Cam man. DJ Punch, man. What's on the real though, y'all got no doc I don't know y'all got one or two. Shoot him, I'll ask him. What's happening? What was the craziest show? Scene. Yeah, that's a good one. Like, that's a good one. one. What was the craziest and the scene? One, like, what the fuck? Why is you thinking this, bitch? Okay, I'll do it. The craziest <laughs> one. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Like you almost you felt being, right. Man, I, I, I might, I might fuck y'all up with this, man. Y'all, y'all want to hear it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody stopped and listened. Get quiet. I'm fucking in the bar, right? It was me and uh, we did a three on one. Uh -huh. I'm fucking in the bar, right? When we get ready to bus, we have to bus inside of a shot glass. Oh, oh, and oh, after oh, we oh. did it, they drank she it. drunk it. The girl oh, drunk it. My God. Bro, my Ooh. stomach cringed. I damn near fell out. I damn near <laughs> fell out. I was like, why? But hey, it went up. I know she it got a bag for bro, that. She though. got a bag. I know she got a bag bro, for that. That's crazy. Like, Are you people serious? Be into, we got to do this shit? That's crazy. <laughs> Man. It was crazy. Who thinks that's that? That's it's crazy it's, it's, people that into, That fetish bro. shit, though, you know? Yeah. That shit's going right now. It is, bro. The craziest, the, the craziest latest scene, I, I say, it was for black.com. It was uh, it was probably like five guys and five girls. That shit was lit. Vicky Chase, Adriana Chechik, Tiana oh, Trump. Tiana, yeah, Tiana Trump. Me, Bro. Jax, Rob Piper, Mookie, uh, uh, Pressure. It, it was lit. It was lit. That shit was like one of the hey, craziest Tiana scenes. Herself, though, Tiana Trump. Yeah. Oh yeah. She she she, the, she the one. She, she the yeah. one. <laughs> I gave her number one in in the industry as far as giving head. She, got, she looked like it. Yo, you know, she an outstanding performer too, though. Yeah, you know, that's good, like being MVP of the NFL. Oh, yeah. Like everybody like dope as fuck. She she but for like you to get good. like to be get that honor, like uh, that's something. That's special. Uh, she look like it. I give it to she her, man. Like it too, like oh yeah, oh yeah. She don't she don't play. Cause there are a couple beasts. There's some couple stars I know. That's okay. All right, all right. She's a ball player. I want. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know. Oh come here! Hey, this is my oh, good friend right here. I told her to come Mel on over here. This is Melody Allen. She acts. She's the she's the CEO of Wigan Our Radio, and I'm also the co-host on her show as well. Sure. Nice to meet you. Um, she actually she did you did a dope film for a little while, right? Oh come yeah. On, talk to people. Okay. Talk to people. Okay. 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 Yeah. Come on, man. Come on. Talk to people. Come on, man. <laughs> What's right. up, everybody? This is Melody with Wigan now on Cali Finest Radio. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's What's right. up, yeah? So yeah, I did porn. And, you know, I'm known as Sabrina Love. Okay. You know what I mean? So I'm a legend in the business for real. For shout real. out! Okay. Shout out! Okay. Nice to meet you too. Real legend. Shout uh, out wait, to the legends. How can it's people get? Real, yeah. How can people get in contact with you? Give me a platform. Okay, you can find me on Instagram at Wigging Out Radio mm -hmm. underscore Melody Allen. Um, you can follow my Twitter at um, double X Sabrina Love dot com. Um, you can go to my OnlyFans to mm -hmm. Sabrina Love. Um, I'm all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> Getting right to Google it. Google me. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> that's what I told you. Hey, go on Twitter and vote for her for a Fanny Award. She's actually up for a Fanny Award okay. right now. Okay. We're our only fans show. and whatnot. So, man, oh, okay. So, that's what's yeah. up. Show some love. Congratulations. Yeah, absolutely. Are you begin down like that on there? Man. You gonna be getting down like you know that? Shit? Okay. I ain't never had no. I ain't never looked on OnlyFans. Hold on, where she go? She gonna go to the back. Hey, <laughs> it's Sabrina. You hey, for an award? It, it's Sabrina Love <laughs> with a damn. U. It's <laughs> Sabrina Love with a U. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. All right, Sabrina Love. Cause Cause she right. gonna make you come. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what she gotta be doing on OnlyFans? 
to be up for an award. Do you know what's on OnlyFans? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> you know, I. And do. she's up for an award. That's what's up, man. Shout, shout out, man. Shout out, shout out Melly. She says she a legend in the game. Yeah, See, that means she was out the game. She's she been here. Give that lady her prize. What's up? <laughs> Give her show her, her OnlyFans and see what she got going on. I gotta say yeah. this though. I I know you you definitely have had an illustrious career and still have an illustrious yeah. career with yeah. this. But that's not all you doing. You got other things going on too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I want to talk about that now. Now I know I've seen you DJ. You dope. Yeah, oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout, I seen you. Shout, shout out Big T to DJ shout. too. I seen you up there with him. You know shout what I'm shout. saying? Yeah, shout out to Big T. Um uh but what else? What else you got going on? Um I'm um I do a little music too. I'm finna start doing a little music. I got a couple of features out right now. I wanna, you know, it's a few, it's a few I could say. G Bolin, I got some shit with Slim 400. Okay. Rest in peace. Hey, rest in boy. peace, man. Yeah, rest um, in peace, man. Almighty rest Suspect. Um, got a few out there. Um, I got more in the making though, but um, I got the music going. I got this little, um, I started a DJ business and um, I invested in this little uh, hip hop clown. Um, like they do birthday parties and shit like that. Uh-huh. Like I, I invest, yeah, I invested in that. For like, you know, for the kids so they can Investments. do their thing. You know, Time? keep it going. It's a uh, not they something like that, but yeah. it's called Two K. Okay. But um, yeah. Um, and I, uh, what else? Oh, I got my own production. I got coming soon too. I'm gonna okay. start producing and filming yeah. okay. my own shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Hey, anything you're gonna be behind the camera now, bro. Anything, <laughs> good job. Anything yeah. you job. need, bro, on any of the things that you're doing, bro. You already know Cali's finest got love for you. For shit show. Let yeah, me I'm know. Gonna, you know I'm pulling up. I'm you know a, what I'm saying? I'm a professional cameraman, by the way. Oh, yeah? I, I, yeah, I just can't, uh, bro. I can't be under no balls. <laughs> <laughs> but if you can like let me get like two minutes, for sure. I got, you. Shit, I got that, you. I got you. But I saw the behind the scenes. Niggas got to be right there. Yeah, under right the there. They got to be right yeah. there. Like, hey, do it, bro. you know what I need. When you do, I uh, one of your scenes that you do upcoming, bro. I need you look in the camera and give five claps, bro. <laughs> give five you. claps. Oh, Shout out to my nigga, Cali Finest, my nigga. I'm gonna do, That's a, a, I'm gonna do a Sunday for you, bro. You. For real, send me that clip, bro. I so I get big nigga. I'll be like, look, nigga, I got niggas yeah. recipe out here. Got you, my nigga. We gonna go up. Clap the cheek, clap the cheek five times so they can fire. Hey, I'm already know, man. Let's go crazy. I'm telling you. Do you okay? Here's here's the question that I have, like. I mean, obviously, it's other business ventures that you want to do as well, like what you're doing. Do you think anybody gets into the adult uh, film business for life, that that's what they want to do forever? Or is it a means to an end? That, that, you know, eventually, any actor or actress is going to want to do something else, you know? Yeah, it's, it's some of them that, you know, that, uh, well, I know a few that have been in for probably like 20 years, 15, 18 years, so... It depends on the person, you know. Some of them want to do it for a long time. Some of them want to do other shit. So I guess um, the ones that's doing it for a long period of time, it's just like, you know, they got they, they consistently working and they got, like, a good bag behind them. So, right. you know, that, that's what's keeping them going. But the ones that don't, you know, they just trying to get they, uh, they, they, they weight up and eventually get behind the camera like I'm doing. Yeah. So, you know. No, nah, that's dope, man. Yeah. We, uh, Me and Shooter actually been talking about uh, possibly, you know what I'm saying, Producing an adult film, like yeah. you know, what I'm saying, putting some money and investing. I 100 in, I mean, want to. That's yeah, been my dream since I was know, yeah, like 13. I, yeah, I want to do that make, too. Yeah, no lie, bro. That's been my I'm holla at me, 13, man. Bro. Okay, okay. To produce right. a porn. Yeah, okay. What, what together, made you? Man. You just woke up one day like. I'm nah, make me nah, a point, you know, you were no, looking day, at some porn and was like, uh, I one, can do this. One day, we used to have this movie, this cartoon movie. It used to be called Scamper, but my parents filmed over it with a porno. So one day I put the <laughs> <laughs> one day I put scamper in and it wasn't scamper. Oh <laughs> shit. Well, I, was five, bro, right? I was five. That shit changed my life. Bro. That ass. So by the time like, I was you know thirteen what? I already know I want to do film, but it wasn't yeah. because of porn. I just, yeah, I just yeah. know I want to right. what I want to do. But uh, but I was like nigga one day you watched the whole video. Boy. I did watch that whole video. I showed <laughs> my cousin. Oh, no, really. I was like, nigga. I think everybody remembers. Do you remember the first, the very first porn you ever watched? Hell yeah, yeah, that blank tape. Okay, yeah, motherfucker yeah. had nothing on it. Yeah, yeah. it's that one right here. Yeah. It's that one. I, I think the first porn I ever saw it was called Juicy Sex Secrets. That's that's what it was called. And I do. I re, only reason I remember it because it, it was like they was in a weight room, like a home gym, and it was this chick, <laughs> and she was just like grinding, and then the dude came out. You know what I'm saying? The dude came out and she was it's old school, so it was real grainy video. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Down there black and white. Yeah, and the dude came the dude came out and he was like, Show me what you got. And then like <laughs> she t- and she took off her little singlet and her bush was super hairy, like that's what I remember too. That's that how I remember the yeah, bush yeah, yeah, the bush yeah, was yeah, back, yeah, back in. I was like, that's what it looked like? Yeah, them bushes. <laughs> I was like, where do you put it in there? It's nothing right, but first. I got a question for y'all. Come on with it. What? Nah, I'm good, I'm good. Bush or no bush? 
like shaved or a bush. I don't yeah. mind the landing strip. Landing strip. Yeah, I, I don't mind, the I don't mind strip. a little yeah. bit, I, but not a lot. Don't get me wrong, though. I, I don't. I'm not talking about a jungle, but like a neatly trimmed bush. It's, yeah, that's cool. It's cool. Yeah, you yeah. know, if yeah. I, as long as I can party, I like a clean plate when I eat. Yeah, me too. See? Okay. So yeah. you know what I mean. So as long as I can party, yeah. then I can get yeah, to bro. the to the to the juicy bits. Then yeah, right. a little diamond know. or something. Yeah, yeah. I want when you put them panties off, off. It's all good. that's yeah. it. <laughs> I don't want to be. I just don't want to be like spitting out fucking hairs and yeah. gargling and something. Yeah, like yeah. when you when you pull exactly. panties off, bro. It's no a difference between there. what if it ain't no hair and it's hair down there. When there's hair down there, you be like, all right, I got to attack it different. Yeah, do. Then but if that it's should no be hair. the same way for men, too. Y'all it's, always want somebody to suck y'all dick. Y'all need to shave that shit, that's too. That's a true story. I ain't she right. Well, why yeah. should... But look, Respect yeah. the game, I don't, I don't shit, y'all. Hey, do if y'all like, cut huh. and trim y'all shit that's and true. groom y'all shit, I guarantee you your woman will be down there a lot more often On the real. and longer. I yeah, can't, you know, I can't. I, I won't debate that as a woman. I know you know what you're talking about, but I'll say this as a man, <laughs> and for all men, every fuck that. The fact <laughs> is, is like that. That's that manscaping and doing all How that kind of shit. How you gonna sit here and say because, you want the lining strip and no hair and all this and that? Because but you don't I'm, even want to touch you, your shit. I'm gonna tell you why. You're part of the game because out of this forest is one redwood tree standing up against <laughs> all that. <laughs> and if you can't find that shit, that this is blind because this oh, the real it's there, yeah. nigga. It's there. You all know right. what I'm saying? Timber. <laughs> but oh, look, this but, <laughs> but I like to do this God, thing. You know, yeah. um, I like to do this thing uh i call it uh cali's finest feud right and it's just you know it's like a game show kind of thing but it's just that's why i picked the name but it's just a, a couple of facts that i have for my guests about these perspective fields and then you just kind of take a just take a wild swing of guess what you think it is no right or wrong answer i just you know i'm gonna say what the answer is after that but i just want to see what y'all think and and uh and get y'all uh, opinion you know what i mean okay. so i'm a, a so i have i actually have some edible uh uh facts for you mm -hmm. and i have some adult film Facts for you, Pope. Okay. Um, so the first one here. So we gonna go. We gonna go to pass out LA first. All right. So let me ask you this: How long does it officially take scientifically for edibles to take effect? Like, what is the time frame? Like, either here's the choices: you got thirty minutes to two hours, you got one hour to two hours, or fifteen to thirty minutes. Mine, I would say fifteen to thirty minutes, nice. but scientifically, it's thirty to forty. Thirty. 30 minutes to two hours. Damn, you did. Okay, that's dead on. I'm right just there. saying. I'm just hey, saying. Hey, she know her shit. Because they don't, shit. people don't give it time. I heard the fuck You know, out or they smack the whole damn bag and then they be nodding out somewhere when they could have <coughs> got two or three portions up. <coughs> when I be telling them, so long the story, whole thing. The, the, he clearing his throat for Look, long story short. <laughs> What Long story short, I was at I was at a function. It was it was a rock star uh, rock star function. Shout out rock stars. <laughs> um, and she was there vending, and I walked up. Hey, Ma, how you doing? She, you know, all the time I see her, you know, we are good greeting. You know, he a cool dude, and, man. You know, y'all never had the opportunity to meet him. Whenever y'all see him in the streets, man, hit him with the five claps, man. <laughs> yeah. yep. Yep. He's solid, man, for solid real. As a motherfucker. So thank you I appreciate all the time that. That it ain't just for radio nothing thank this you. is in the streets this is everywhere and every time you see them it don't change hey i appreciate that coming from accomplished professionals in y'all fields i i appreciate that you know what i'm saying like for real it means something you dig um, i mean that i don't give out compliments i'm, off. I, 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 I'm a tar no, you're so, real you know sure. real. Oh, yeah you like me so, so you know so uh oh, so, yeah, we, so i'm chopping it up with her and um and she said, look here, take these. And she gives me some red, the red, what are you, red velvet? I gave you two she gave, red velvet. Yeah, she gave me some red velvet cookies, two red velvet cookies. Before I walked away, because I was already kind of slizzard. Before I walked away, was that it? No, she grabbed me and she said, look, don't eat the whole thing. I told him. I tried. Oh, okay, no problem. I turned. I swear to God, I turned. She tell you from lying. I turned to walk away. She grabbed me again and said, don't. Eat the whole thing because it was two. Ooh, oh, my God. regular portion is really a uh, one or a half of one. Yes, I gave him two, so he had enough to eat some then 
and tomorrow. So I'm like, yeah, no problem. Blah, 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 while I'm walking off, right. just smashing on that motherfucker. So now we 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 fast forward <laughs> to the end of the night, man. I hosted this event. Feel me? I'm outside of the event, sitting down, slumped, bro. Sweating Ooh. like a slave. Sweating on like the a run. slave. Yeah. <laughs> slumped, bro. I'm like, you know, I can't even keep, keep my head up. There was this there was this chick that was doing bottle service all night, and she was fine as fuck. And a lot of people know her. She's got a platform, all that. And like, you know, even if she wasn't giving me real rhythm, she was at least cordial and real nice. You know what I mean? By that, by nigga, I look up, I'm loaded to fucking tears. I look up and she's standing over, baby, are you okay? Ooh. Like I'm feeling like I said this off air, man. I feel oh. like in like high school, like you know, you get a hard on there, ask you to go and yeah. write something up on the blackboard, yeah. like. That kind of embarrassed, bro. Like, oh my god, bro. Like, so I, I and then she went. I didn't even tell you this part. She go. I say. She says she wants something to drink. And I say yes, please. So I'm thinking she gonna bring me some water. She go and get me some motherfucking orange juice. Whoa. So and then for those of you who don't know, oh, man, orange juice take whatever you feel Hell into yeah. the very yeah, yeah. The next five levels. Yeah. Oh God. So you know, but look. Thank you to Pass Out LA because I had a fantastic time. Pass out or make you pass make out. Make you pass Absolutely. out. Absolutely. I say it loud. I can't test the name. <laughs> it's a real thing. It's a real thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a real thing. We're running short on time, so let me fire these fire this last one off and then we'll get to poke. Okay. okay. What's the longest that edibles should last? 12 to 24 hours, one day to two days, or shit, fuck it, what? Five to eight hours. Twelve to twenty-four hours. God damn, she knows her shit, bro. Hey, she ain't seen better none go of this. Because you should be able to sleep on it and wake up and still be feeling good. Oh, yeah. I'm talking I about had that good, good sleep. That's like, good damn, weed I ain't slept like that in a long mm-hmm. time. She on her shit. That's some good weed. Love that shit. Right. That's so, good and weed. I use a whole lot. Yeah. Like <laughs> an ounce per pound. And I make like five, six pounds at a time. So, yeah. you know what I mean? That's all concentrate at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. I, I want you to be able to... I want you to be able to uh, to drop your contact. So tell people Definitely. how they can get in touch with you, right place now. orders, um, or whatever. Pass out underscore LA. Just hit me in my DM. You know, I don't post nothing like I don't post any packaged goods or anything like that because they all knock my page down for uh, promoting drug use and stuff like that. I'll post some baked goods or some food or something like yeah. that. But if they got it, I make it. Very tasteful business. Like you doing Gummies. Your thing. I got, like you said, Kool Aid. I got stuff y'all ain't never seen before. I got goldfish, cereal, cookies. Look, I got Oreos, Chips Ahoy. I got all kind of shit. I can dig so it. if you think you can want, I can make it. There it Even is. Even if I got to make it from scratch and yeah. use my own packaging. And she will be at the event on the 26th, the Valentine's Hangover. You know what I'm saying? She's going to be in there. I'm going to help you get over that heartbreak. <laughs> oh, God. Like she's, she bringing some shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't be okay, ready. Man. Yeah, Poke, you got to pull up, man. I'm telling you. I'm going to pull up. It's going to be lit, bro. For sure, oh, for God. sure. God. So now, real quick, <clears throat> I got some I got some, I got some, some facts. I'm not even going to make them into questions. For sure. I'm just going to let you know some shit, right? For sure. So look, check this out. Did you know a new porn is produced in America every 39 minutes? Like, officially. Like I just, yeah, I believe, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's for sure. Unless you know, so y'all just be running orders like Amazon. Yeah, Amazon? that's <laughs> they shooting right and now. Like, if you don't nut, you don't get paid at it's all. Right. They shooting as we speak. I just left from set. They shoot and they still shoot. That's crazy, man. man. Hey, it's hey, it's an old profession. I will tell you that much. Yeah, yeah. oh, oh, well, I'm sorry, bro. Go for how it. many how many scenes have you shot in one day? Three, three. Yeah. Without any aids or help at all, like. Uh, here and there, I got these okay. things called sure. slim poke pills that I might take if yeah. I need it. But hey, you know, shut up and take my money. Slim poke pills. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shut yeah. up and take my money. Them I need some of those, bro. Them motherfuckers oh, ain't yeah. no joke. Well, I'm telling oh, motherfuckers yeah. ain't no joke. I was just about to ask you, like, do you get tired? I get tired, but if when I pop in that slim poke vitamin, it's a wrap. I got one more question. It's like that. How much pussy has your your porn gotten outside of porn? Ah. Like women recognizing you. Oh, like, oh, that's every smash. day. That's every day. For real? Okay. Oh, that's that nigga. That's every day. Can't bro. hide that shit it. Sky can't. High. I can't hide it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, everywhere I go, every like, day, everywhere I go, somebody you know who I am. That's Whether crazy. it's a female or a mom or somebody, they a know. Mom. Hey. 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 That's got to be. The freaks ain't good. always out at yeah. night. Yeah. They out in the daytime. They everywhere. And they be just throwing it like that. Some of they 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 don't. Throw it, but they throw no, it. Like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, they, yeah, they do yeah, it. They be curious. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Curiosity kills yeah. the cat. But in the Instagram, <laughs> oh yeah, okay. oh yeah. I got, I do got, I do got one question I'm gonna ask you though. I want to get your honest guess on this poke. 
How? What's the percentage of uh, what's the percentage of women you think in America that watch porn at work? And I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna tell you the exact percentage. But I say like. Like 75. 75%? Yeah. Not quite so high, but when you think about how how many people are, how many women are in the United States, it's 13% of women. 13? 13%. But think about and it like this. It work? That's still a pretty, yes. Well, that's still a pretty big percentage. Yeah, 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 that's still a big percentage. At home, yeah. What's right. the percentage of men? 89? 20%. That's it. To what? At work? At work. Well, yeah, they don't want to get caught. Exactly. They don't want to get right. caught. But that's no, the, that don't count on the phone, though. Yeah. No. I yeah, can believe that. That's, count, on the, that's on the work computer. To it. Admitted yeah, well, to exactly. it. That, yeah, Punch got a point. It's, exactly. it's who's admitted to or it. Or got yeah, caught by he HR might not did it, it on, was the, on, the, on the company computer, but you, on your phone? On the phone, yeah. yeah you can't even. You can't yeah, they, even can't, they yeah. can't monitor that. That's yeah. what, no, they got to do is lock their phone real quick. Somebody well, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, and then, you know, you can put your shit on incognito mode on your on your iPad or your or your computer. I mean, mm -hmm. not that I do anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you can always make sure you kind of hide your history a little bit, you know what I mean? And always make sure you got a homie that you down enough with to if something happen to you will go and, and delete your fucking browser history Absolutely. before your wife get to it like, shit show. you know what I mean that's a homie right I there I ain't got no wife but I got kids and I'm gonna need you to go ahead and I got you I got you who's the best squirter oh Ooh. like right now right now uh hey this this chick named Adriana Chechi I know who that yes. is Adriana yes. Chechi I know who that she is. goes up well, her shit, her is. shit. I gotta look her waterfall. up. Waterfall. I gotta look her up. She go crazy. I always, I was always partial. Yeah, waterfall. To, uh, I was always partial to, to Jada Fire. I always thought. Jada, well, yeah, back then, yeah. Back Jada then, Fire yeah, I always thought Jada Fire oh, yeah. was squirts. Oh, she well. goes up. Yeah. She goes what, crazy. What scene did you enjoy the most, and who was it with? Uh, I say Victoria Cakes. Victoria, yeah, no, brother. in Sarah Banks, Sarah Banks, Sarah Ooh, Banks, yeah. Sarah yeah. Banks. Yeah. yeah, Victoria Cakes though, God. And Yam the Boss, Yam the Boss too, them three. It's gotta you be didn't crazy. Knock every night. <laughs> it's gotta, <laughs> it's gotta yeah, be yeah. crazy. Like you know, you guys, it's because at the end of the day, it's still a business transaction. So mm -hmm. once the scene is over, it's like, okay, have a good day. All right, like oh, no, I just really. met on your face, but hey, have a good hey, day. Like, but do you, you ever have them try to double back on the law? Hell yeah. Oh, I can imagine. <laughs> I mean, I, come on, I can imagine. They know. I mean, I done did it too. Man. Hell yeah, I need that again. Run that back. Run you, feel that me? back. you want something to eat? Let's go out there real quick. <laughs> hey, Pope, tell people how uh, how they can get in contact with you, brother. Oh, shit. You can hit me up on Twitter. I am Slim Polk. Uh, my Instagram, Slim Polk Official. Um, my OnlyFans, www.onlyfans.com forward slash Slim Polk XXX. And uh, shit, X videos, Slim Polk XXX or Slim Polk. Pornhub, Slim Polk. Shit. Just Google me. Just there it shit, is. Google time. that nigga. I F. What is it? I A F D. I F D. His dick on the world. I M D B. I M D B. I M D B. Hey, I told y'all the other day. I saw. I saw a soft core porn on I M D B. So yeah. that means, like he said, he on I M D B. So I'm just, it's got to be some adult. Big films. credits. Just Big one credits. One more thing, bro. Just quick. How your parents feel? Was it you something know you was embarrassed about? Is your daddy like, that's my boy? Oh, like, <laughs> my, pops be, my pops be on it, but my mom, she'll be kind of like, nah, he don't do that. She'll be kind of taking up. Nah, okay. that's not I him. That's not him. I pops you. be rapping it, though. Yeah. Pops be going up. <laughs> that's, that's me. You boy. see that? That's, that's my son right that's now. That's how I do. I, that's this we get it from. I really appreciate you two coming down, man. You guys are just, y'all energy is amazing. You guys are always welcome down here to the compound. You know what I'm saying? Man, feel free pull up on us anytime we're doing this, man. Hallelujah. Like for real, for real, for much love. Um, I, I know you're gonna be there on the 26th, Poke. Yeah, you gotta pull up on the, the 26th. Uh, real quick before I get out of here. Um, well, shooter, I'm gonna go ahead and let you drop your tag real quick before I do this. And we get out of here. Uh, it's your boy, respect the shooter. Uh, Bruce Wayne in the film game. Mm -hmm. Um, go ahead, Bruce. If you're Bruce looking Wayne. for me, <laughs> if you're looking for me, you can find me on Instagram at Ford Boys Films. That's Ford, like the car. Beep, beep. Boys with an S, films with an S. Or if you really want to find me, you can find me at hashtag your girlfriend knows my real name. Look about mm, that part right there. Loud. Hey, February the 26th, the Valentine's hangover. Either love the one you with or come and find the one you want. You dig? Hey, tap in with my Instagram page, man. If you need promotion, marketing, anything like that, or just overall want to see a handsome nigga like myself fucking something up. Cali's Finest Radio, C-A-L-I-S, Finest Radio, all one word, baby. And like I said, this is your bro, the promo king himself, product. 
five, five stacks ain't count. count. That's right, baby. And never forget that you are tapped in with the greatest. The greatest. The best. The best. The finest radio hey. you will ever come in contact with. We're going to see y'all again real soon. Yeah. Real soon. Yes, 26.